Hello, I'm Sam Flynn and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you five reasons you need to use your phone less for business success. So there's absolutely no denying that a lot of people spend far too long on their phones and it's highly likely you are one of them. But please don't feel disheartened because these phones and the apps on them are designed to be addictive. The longer we spend on them, the more exposure we have to adverts, the more money that they can generate. So they are designed to keep us on there. So please don't feel disheartened and it definitely is not just you. But there are steps we can take to make sure that we are reducing our phone use. And here's five reasons why you really need to consider doing that. Number one is probably the most obvious one, and that is to free up time. Now, in America, the average iPhone user's screen time is three hours and 15 minutes. If we look at that over the course of a year, that's a month and a half of 24 hour days, so no sleep, a month and a half spent on our phones. How crazy is that? Imagine if, you could reduce that down to even two hours and got back half a month a year. Or even better, reduce it down to one hour and have a whole month freed up every year to put more effort into growing your business or however you want to spend your time, quite frankly. But if we're talking about business success, then you know, imagine if you had an extra month every year. So many of us use the excuse, I don't have time, I'm too busy. And yet we could look at our screen time and see that really our time is being stolen from us. So without a doubt, one of the biggest reasons to use your phone less is to free up more time, to feel like you have time to do things for your hobbies, to spend time with your family, and in a business context, to spend on growing your business. You know, to do learning, to read books about business, to actively do more marketing. There are so many things we could do if we freed up that time. So the number one reason without a doubt has to be to gain that time back. Number two as to why using your phone less could help grow your business is because it is impacting your focus and attention. So the more we use our phone, the more we struggle to focus and pay attention to tasks. Our brains are constantly learning and adapting. And so the more we spend absorbing quick pieces of content, such as TikTok videos or tweets, or quick emails, or we jump from task to task on our phone. I'll check my emails, I'll check my Instagram, I'll um, do today's Wordle. The more we move from task to task on our phones, the more our brain learns that we can't pay attention to things. And so that impacts when we have to sit down at our desk and actually pay attention and focus on something. So our phones are stealing our ability to pay attention, to focus on a task. In fact, on average, we found now that we can only focus on one particular task for around three minutes before our attention moves elsewhere, which is no use if you need to get stuff done in your business. So definitely reducing your phone use will help your brain learn, again, how to pay attention and how to focus in on the tasks you need to do. Number three is to improve our creativity. So the more we pick up our phone, the more we lose that focus and attention, the more time we spend absorbing content and information from there and less time creating, the more that's gonna impact our creativity. And a huge part of growing a business is being creative and coming up with new ideas and um, you know, thinking of new ways to market your business and new approaches within your business. But the more we use our phone, the more that's stealing our creativity. You know, how often do you go for a walk without having earphones plugged in and listening to something on your phone? How often do you just sit and do nothing? And there is so much power in this. Just sitting with a coffee and doing nothing, but being sat in silence, drinking that coffee. Walking the dog and doing nothing, but noticing everything around you and being present in that moment. Doing that can really help trigger your creativity and get those creative juices flowing in your brain. So if you struggle for creativity, maybe it's time to question whether your phone use is actually to blame.
Number four is to improve our sleep. So our phones have artificial light imprinting our eyeballs and therefore infiltrating our brain every day. And as we near bedtime, if we continue to have this artificial light really close to our face, it's going to tell our brains that it's daytime. It's going to try and keep us awake. And for so many people, the last thing they do at night is look at their phone, put it down right next to them, and then wonder why they can't get to sleep because they've just looked at a light source. It's like having the sun looking at us and then thinking, right, I'll go to sleep now. It's not going to happen unless we're absolutely exhausted. So that's one reason your phone is ruining your sleep. The other reason is all the things we've absorbed through the day. I mean, the amount of information and things that we're taking on board every day through our phones is just way more than our brains can really manage. And so at night, our brains are still trying to juggle it all and figure it all out and work out what we've absorbed through the day. And then finally, we're also not relaxing when when we're looking at our phones, particularly if we're absorbing negativity through things like social media and we're looking at negative posts or we're looking at the news last thing before bed. If we're looking at things that aren't calming us down and relaxing us, then it's going to impact our sleep. Why is that important for business success? Well, sleep obviously relates directly to your business success. If you get very poor sleep, it's really hard the next day to focus and pay attention, to think creatively, to put yourself um, in as best a position as possible to grow your business. Instead, you're going to be relying on coffee and sugar to get you through. You're not going to be sparking on all cylinders. You're going to procrastinate more. And so it will negatively impact your business. So another reason to use your phone less is to improve your sleep. And then finally, number five is to improve your mental health. And without a doubt, our phones very rarely, I mean, there are definitely some good apps that do help with mental health, such as meditation apps, but The majority of what we have on our phones ain't that good for our mental health. It can trigger feelings of stress and anxiety. It can make us feel like we're not worthy if we're looking at all these beautiful people on Instagram. So it can impact our self-esteem. As businesses, we can get that, as business owners, sorry, we can get that feeling of imposter syndrome because we're looking at all these other businesses and thinking, oh my gosh, look how wonderful they are and I'm not doing that. And all of this is going to really negatively impact our mental health. And our mental health is absolutely related directly to, you know, the effort and energy we have to put into our business. So, of course, in a business sense, it's really important. But in an overall sense, who doesn't want to feel calm and relaxed and happier and less anxious and stressed and low mood? Of course, we want to feel better when it comes to our mental health. And you will hear lots of people say that, you know, their mental health had got to a point where they stopped using their phone for a day or a week or even two weeks and their mental health improved. But of course, once their detox was over, their phone was back in hand. And before you know it, you're back in the same habits. So it's really about building lifetime habits to use your phone less to improve that mental health. So I hope that's been interesting. I know it's been a little bit of a different approach for my videos to talk about reducing your phone use, especially as a social media trainer. It's almost a bit um, ironic that I encourage businesses to use social media and then I'm saying get off your phone. But you can use social media effectively to market your business without being on your phone all the time. True fact. So um, if you would love to learn more about why you need to use your phone less and how to go about doing it, then I'd love you to come and join me on my free workshop on Wednesday, the 9th of March at 12 p.m. for one hour, where I'll be sharing with you all the reasons why you need to start doing, putting that phone down and spending less time on there and how to actively go about doing that to help improve your business success. I will pop a link to that workshop in the description um, and I would absolutely love for you to come join me there. It's completely free. So the only thing I'm asking for you is an hour of your time over lunchtime so you can sit and eat your lunch at the same time. And I do think it will make a huge difference to you moving forward. Hope to see you there. Um, And in the meantime, if this video really resonated with you, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and please do add your comments in about what you think about phone use and whether you feel you need to reduce your own phone use as well. See you later.